Scorpios out there. I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So you guys, this is going to be a short reading. I did a reading earlier that talked about spirit was trying to show your person the truth about a third party, but it's like they're refusing to believe it, okay? So we're going to pull some messages here. We're going to see why this person just seems to be so stuck and having a hard time letting go of a third party. Now, something here resonates for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you have not. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, I am running a special on my readings right now. And that information, you guys, will be in the description box below. So let's get into it. Messages for my Scorpios. Holy Spirit, we wanted to know why is Scorpio's person still stuck on this third party? Why are they having a hard time making the decision here messages for my scorpios why is their person still stuck dealing with this third party why are they having such a hard time making a decision when it comes to a third party all right y'all let's see what's going oh damn out the dick i don't want to be with them anymore but i don't want you to be with them either okay so there's a third party that's keeping this person stuck because they really don't want them anymore but at the same time, Scorpio, they don't want you to have them either, okay? So they're making it hard for this person to make some type of decision here, okay? So this is someone who is definitely keeping your person stuck on purpose because, shit, they don't want them. But they don't want you to have them either. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Why is Scorpio's person stuck on this third party? What's going on here? All right, you guys, I tear them down every chance I get. So some of you guys... They're having a hard time making a decision because their self-worth, their self-esteem has plummeted, okay? This third party tears them down every chance they get. Tell them they ain't going to be shit. They ain't going to amount to shit. They ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone especially who could be suffering financially or who already feels bad about themselves. Like, they just tear them down. They break them down even more, okay? Why is Scorpio's person having a hard time believing the truth? All right, they're having a hard time believing the truth. It's because this third party has done something to this person mentally, okay? They've kept this person from evolving and becoming the best version of themselves. Why? Because if they become the best version of themselves, and Scorpio, you're the best version of yourself, you guys will be together. We don't want any, anyone to know that we are separated, okay? So some of you guys, this, the reason why they can't make a decision because they're still trying to keep, keep up or keep up this image, you know, that they have this happy life, happy wife type dynamic, you know, and everybody know that this shit fucked up, okay? So they really don't want people in their business. They really don't want people to know because I feel like in the past, this could have been someone who other people looked up to them as being like this power couple or, you know, it, it, it exhibiting, you know, as they say, black love or just, you know, a couple or someone that everyone looks up to, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like now this person feels like they've lived some type of false narrative because if they get a divorce or they people fuck around and find out they're separated, you know, then people are going to be like, well, I thought y'all was this and that. I thought y'all was so happy. I thought y'all was going to be together forever. See, they don't want to hear this shit because it's the same thing that they thought too. They thought they was going to be together with this person forever and ever as well. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Why is this person having a hard time Leaving this person. <clears throat> I just seen something about some spell work. We're going to see if it can't come out. I should have took you. Messages for Scorpio. Why are they having a hard time leaving this third party? <laughs> 
third party watch their every move. You guys, this person can't eat, sleep, shit. They can't do nothing without this third party all on their ass. And they re- the reason why they all on their ass, Scorpio, is because they trying to make sure that they ain't talking to you. They, this person just can't seem to understand what's so special about this connection. Why is this person still hung up? Why is this person still thinking about you and dreaming about you and talking about you? Like, they don't understand what's so special, what's significant about this connection. For some of you, this show the divine counterpart, and it's karmic. Okay, they just can't understand what's so special about you and this fucking connection that you share with this person. Give us a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video. We're just gonna do a couple, just a couple of more. It's gonna be a little short read. Damn. I'm gonna take it. Ooh, we both fucking other people. Oh wow. So your person in this third party, you guys, they both having sex with other people. So it's like a big ass open marriage, okay? Or both people are cheating on each other. That's what it is. And so for some of you, this third party feel like, well, shit, how you going to divorce me and want to leave me and you cheating too, you know? So this is why they suck because they know if they go to court, they may be something, you know, that may come up in, in this, this decision, okay? Look at this. I would trap them with a baby to keep this reunion from happening, okay? And for some of you guys, the reason why you and this person ain't came back together and why they can't make a decision about you is because this third party is trying to trap them with a baby to keep you and them from coming back together, okay? All right, y'all, so let's get the signs here. Let's see who this reading is about, and then we'll go to the who did. All right, so this is just a short reading, you guys. You know, I'm just trying to get some more messages out to you. It's been a little bit. I'm only going to have certain days I dedicate readings to you, okay? So we got Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer. We got Capricorn, Sash, Taurus, Leo. And we have... <laughs> Capricorn, Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, oh, shit, my bad. Who did? I said we was going to go to the who did, didn't I? All right, so let's see who this reading is about. So I can be describing you guys, or I could be describing your person here, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. Who is this reading about for Scorpio? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? Who is this reading about? All right, this could be about someone who wears cowboy boots. Someone who has salt and pepper hair. All right, age 55 to 60. Who is this reading about? Let's get a couple of more. Who is this reading about? All right, someone who has big breasts. And one more. All right, we'll take these three. All right, we got 25 to 30. Crooked teeth. Light complexion, freckles, and someone who has abs or a six pack. All right, you guys, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.